Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is Jenkins? Let me answer. Jenkins is a CI CD tool. This is a straightforward answer for this question. If someone asks you this question, straightforwardly, you can mention Jenkins is a CI CD tool. So what is CI? CI means continuous integration. What is CD? CD means you can either say continuous delivery or continuous deployment. Anything is fine. Okay. So straightforward answer is Jenkins is a CI CD tool. Okay. But to understand Jenkins, I'll explain more. Okay. Jenkins is not specific to testing industry. Rather, it's not just specific to software testing or test automation. Even developers can also use Jenkins. Okay. So it automates. Okay. Why developers? Developers can use the Jenkins for automating the building process okay uh, it will build all the thing okay compile the code and all those stuff and you know uh, finally it will deploy the code kind of stuff okay build the code test the code like maven does like build life cycle and all is there in maven right the similar way jenkins can be used by developers for automating the okay maven will not automatically do that but jenkins will automatic automate that process of building testing and deploying the Deploying activities, okay? So, automates means uh, you, in Jenkins, the thing is you can create jobs, okay? So, if you go to the Jenkins website, you'll understand the, with the logo itself that uh, a server logo will be there, you see? You can go to the official website of Jenkins, that is Jenkins.io. There is a uh, uh, logo, okay? Like this kind of logo, okay? So, yeah, this kind of logo or something. So where you see it is a server kind of stuff, okay? Uh, in waiter, waiter or server who is ready to serve you, okay? You just give the instructions and that this person is going to serve your uh, request. You have to assign a job and that person will do the job kind of stuff, okay? So from the logo, you understood that uh, you have to just give the instruction, gen, instructions to Jenkins and Jenkins will automate that process of building, testing, deploying in development. But when you are answering this question in the interviews, Keep in mind that you are attending the interview in terms of automation, a test automator, okay? Test automation engineer kind of perspective you have to give the answer. In test automation, we mainly use Jenkins to automatically invoke the scripts, okay? Whatever the automation scripts you want to run, okay? If you want to run, you have to manually go to that particular ID, like Eclipse ID where the scripts are there in the project and all, and go to the appropriate file and right click run as and then run manually. But with the help of Jenkins, you can give the instructions to Jenkins so that Jenkins will take that as a job. And when that particular time occurs, when that condition meets, Jenkins will automatically run your scripts. For example, a real world example I will give you guys. Okay. So let's say there is an apartment building and uh, that apartment building has a lot of flats where people, different families are living in that flats, very big community, let's say. And uh, to safeguard that community, that community members have appointed some security people, okay, or watchmen or whatever the kind of people you call. They do the, they work in the different shifts, morning shift, night shifts, and all those stuff. Whether you are available or not, they will take care of the security measures, okay? So that no thief or someone enters your, uh, you know, house and stole your items. So the same way in automation, let's say at night two o'clock, if you have to run your automation scripts, will you be available? For one day you will be available, okay? If you have to work in a night shift, you will be there and you will run the scripts and that's fine. But daily, daily at 2 a.m., you have to be awake and run the scripts. That's not possible, right? Very because you will be sleeping. At the time, you guys will be sleeping. Okay? So we have to assign such kind of jobs to Jenkins kind of thing. We have to create some jobs in Jenkins and uh, clearly give the instructions to the Jenkins saying that run so and so code at night to AM. That's it. Jenkins will take care of the stuff. Okay? So that's how Jenkins work. Okay? So this is one example. Let's say... There's one more way Jenkins can help you. Every day at 4 p.m., you have to run the scripts. Sure, 4 p.m. 
you have to run your scripts, test automation scripts, let's say. Every day you are running, but uh, after some months or something, you forgot. One day you forgot to run the scripts at 4 p.m. because of your busy schedule at office. So your manager will come and uh, the manager will ask you, why didn't you run the scripts today at 4 p.m.? You are supposed to run the scripts. This is a human error that is common, okay? People are tend to forget the things, right? So that's where Jenkins will come, Jenkins will come into the picture where while giving the instructions by creating a job in Jenkins, you will clearly mention that some kind of code you will mention in Jenkins specifying that every day at 4 p.m. the scripts have to be automatically run. The invoking or the execution of the automation scripts to run is made automatic. Okay. You don't have to manually go and run the scripts. Jenkins will remember its job and it will trigger the scripts. It will invoke the scripts automatically. Okay. Your intervention is not required. Coming to the developers, they automate a lot of stuff with the help of Jenkins. Our test automation engineers generally automate the invoking of the automation scripts at the odd time or at regular intervals or whatever it is. Okay. But uh, developers use Jenkins for automating the building process of the software code they have developed, testing of that code and deploying activities. Okay. So that developers will do, but our answer should be Jenkins is a CI CD tool in automation. We use Jenkins to automatically invoke the scripts. One more place where in test automation, we can use Jenkins. Okay. Is like, you see these days, whether the developers or automation engineers, what they're doing is they're writing the code and pushing the code. Like multiple people will be there in the project working as automation engineers or developers and they will be collectively writing the code and pushing the code at a centralized repository. And uh, now what the use of Jenkins means, you can set up Jenkins or create a job in Jenkins or provide instructions in the job in Jenkins in such a way that when someone checks in a new code, uploads a new code, latest code into Jenkins, uh, latest code into that centralized repository, Jenkins should be able to detect that some changes, some latest changes happen to that automation code or developed code. And it should be able to invoke the automation scripts to run on the latest code. Okay. The, it will run the latest automation scripts for every change. For developers also that is applicable for every change because developers are nowadays working in CI CD kind of environment where daily they will not push the code at once. They can push the code multiple times, multiple developers, multiple check-ins they will do, do, uh, do to the code. They will upload the code uh, multiple times. The latest code, right, uh, keeps updating. And for every version, okay, a version will be created, right? A subversion or a copy will be created for every check-in. On that copy, the scripts need to run to see if any problem in that code, okay? So it applies for automation, it applies for development. So this is how Jenkins is mainly used. So hope guys, you got an idea what exactly is Jenkins. Uh, if you get this question, basically explain that in automation perspective, but for additional knowledge, also remember this for develop, development point of view also. It is a CI CD tool, continuous integration and continuous delivery, okay? So in development, delivery is mainly used and uh, testing continuous integration, okay? Continuously uh, automation engineers are uh, pushing the code and the code is getting updated for every copy of the code, new copy of the code, the scripts need to run. Okay, to see if everything is working fine and we should get the results. So, and at odd time, the scripts need to run or every day frequently at a particular point of time, the scripts need to run. We need to create jobs in Jenkins and give the instructions in Jenkins in such a way that at odd times it can run or in frequent uh, and at the uh, same time every day or how frequent it has to run that we can schedule and, uh, you know, and again, I told you, right, uh, continuous check-ins will happen. For every check-in, uh, for every small modification in the automation code, the scripts need to run automatically. That automatic inv invocation of the execution of the automation scripts can is done by Jenkins. Okay, that's the main thing, guys. Uh, so hope, guys, you got an idea what exactly is Jenkins in this session. So this much of uh, explanation, if you give for what is Jenkins, that is more than enough in the interviews. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.